Good evening, everyone. Topping our news tonight is the toppling of the Lake Champlain Bridge. The crossing between New York and Vermont is no more, as nearly 800 pounds of explosives brought the 80-year-old structure crashing into the icy waters below. The demolition was so fast, if you blinked, you'd probably missed it. took 500 charges and 800 pounds of explosives and in a matter of seconds the Lake Champlain Bridge became a piece of history as the 1800 foot span disappeared into the icy waters below. I couldn't believe the uh, the wave of emotion that came over over me when that explosion took place and I saw the watch the bridge fall in the water. The bridge demolition had been delayed from last week due to bad weather and despite a heavy snow falling those behind the project say it went off according to plan, creating a noise so loud those gathered had to wear earplugs. Once the smoke cleared, the bridge, which closed October 16th, was for the most part a piece of history, with crews going straight to work to lift the tangled remains out of the lake. Most of the time when we have to uh, demolish a bridge, we do it through a mechanical way. Uh, with uh, mechanical uh, means. So this is the first large-scale implosion I've witnessed. It, it, it went as planned. It came down over once, and I'm happy that we, we now got this unsafe bridge down. We can move forward on a ferry service and building a new bridge. As crews work to remove the debris, a new ferry service just south of the former crossing is sent to launch by the end of January, carrying around 50 cars and taking just three minutes to cross between New York and Vermont. I, I think once the ferry is up and operating right here at this location, I think that's going to uh, resolve many of the problems. It certainly won't resolve them all, but it's certainly going to be a huge help. State DOT officials say that the bridge design chosen by an advisory panel will most likely be the choice to replace the crossing. Public spoke and I don't see any reason other than going through the environmental process to, come, to really uh, put dot the I's and cross the T's. To, to build that design that the ferry that the, the public and the public advisory committee uh, select recommended to us. The new bridge should be open by the end of summer 2011 and cost up to 100 million dollars to build.